Now, if you're willing to learn astrophysics, there are many books in the market. Go to Amazon, go to any marketplace, you will find thousand and one book on astrophysics. But here is my recommendation. Go for this book, Bradley W. Carroll and Ostile's book, An Introduction to Modern Astrophysics. First of all, here is a note of caution. The book is more than 1300 pages. So if you think, oh, that is a huge amount of pages that I need to read and this is a very exhaustive book, I would say you will be wrong. As I always tell that heavy books, books which are dense are much better because they don't assume you know anything. They don't use abbreviations. So these type of books are good. Now, this book is definitely you cannot complete this book in one go. It is a kind of a reference plus a textbook. Now, the coverage of the book is quite dense and it is very exhaustive. It starts basically giving you an idea of stellar structure, galaxy formation. Then it goes into the mathematical rigor. There are a lot of worked out examples, mathematics for self-study and it covers a huge amount of topics which covers everything related to astrophysics. Now you need to actually go for a step-by-step -step approach. You need to cover up each and every chapter. Then you have to revisit, relearn and then go for the next chapter. Now if I talk of the mathematical complexity of the book, it is not very complex. Most importantly, you need to have a basic knowledge of mathematics. By basic knowledge, I mean to say you need to know calculus, trigonometry, a little bit of integration and you need to know the astronomical units. Because at the beginning of the book, there is a huge list of astronomical units. It gives you the observation scales and the scales that we measure. So an introduction to modern physics but by Carroll and Ostile, I would say it is definitely a very uh, a heavy recommendation from my side. Don't get bogged down because of the mathematical calculations. Don't get bogged down because it is very dense and heavy. But this type of book actually gives you a complete understanding. I always tell that pick up a book which assumes nothing. And this book is a book which does not assume nothing. And that is why it is quite dense.